Hello everyone, this, my name is Jason Nielsen. I'll be your instructor this summer for Income Tax Accounting. I want to welcome you all to, to class and this podcast is designed to help you find your way around class and kind of get a feel for uh, how we're going to do things and uh, proceed uh, this summer in this class. So uh, like most of your online classes, up at the top are the th- most common things that you're going to be uh, needing to access. Uh, All of the information, all of my uh, podcasts, all of the PowerPoint slides and materials you need to learn are in content uh, organized by module. Um, Dropbox is where you turn in homework uh, and all of the other assignments, including how we will uh, take the, the, the test at the end of the semester. Quizzes where uh, you will take weekly um, quizzes uh, and discussions where there will be weekly discussion boards graded and those that um, are not graded they're just for questions and answers you want to track your grades or your class progress that's here uh, and then there are resources so here's my ugly mug all right Uh, and my introductory news feed. This is what I use the news feed for here in the main part of the page to tell you what's coming up, uh, what's due, and to point you to the right direction. Uh, My contact information is here, my email. Um, The physical office, although we're not using it right at the moment. Uh, Phone number that you can still reach me at uh, even though I'm not there I have it it's automatically forwarded and my zoom room that we will use for online office hours uh, which are going to be Thursday uh, 8 to 9 that are scheduled and if we have uh, other times that need to be discussed or times that we need to meet that's the way we will will be able to set that up is using, and that's where we can go to have that discussion. I put the calendar, upcoming due dates down here in the corner. Uh, Your also way to see the content is the content browser. Uh, If I have, you know, you need a quicker way to see the modules. Uh, And then the far bottom corner is a link to McGraw-Hill Connect, which is where your textbook is, an electronic version of your textbook, and also the software. You'll go here to find the software to complete the tax returns uh, at the end of the semester. You may want to uh, try that out and get that installed earlier than the last uh, week because in in case there's a technical difficulty of any sort, we can work that out long before Uh, any of those assignments are due. So uh, this is where you would find that information. There's also things about how to use that instructions there as well. So that's how the the main page uh, looks and works out. Um, You can find uh, all the things you need under content like we mentioned earlier. So in the introductory or start here module is my introduction as well as a link to the introduction uh, discussion board where you can introduce yourself. Um, The syllabus is available here and you want to carefully review that. Uh, And that will tell you things like uh, we have quizzes every week. Now a little bit about quizzes. Uh, We're going to typically cover two chapters a week uh, this summer because we only have eight weeks. And so to cover all the material, we're going to be doing two chapters. That means there'll be two chapter quizzes uh, usually, uh, although one one week we'll only have one. But uh, most of the time there will be two quizzes per week that will be uh, available until Thursday. They will be uh, true-false, multiple-choice questions. There'll be 10 of them. You'll have 13 minutes. You can have your textbook open. You can review all of your, any notes you've taken, anything you need. 
Uh, to do that, you have three chances to take the quiz. Uh, it will only count the highest score. And so it's a good way to make sure that you have read and understood the material in the chapters and, and from the podcast that I've provided. And so that is one area that you will get graded on. Then uh, also each week is a discussion. So a typical uh, learning module, if we get past the um, looks like this, it'll have a section called reading and explanation where the PowerPoint, uh, my, my PowerPoint slides that I've adapted for uh, from the textbook, uh, and then my introduction, I mean my um, explanation podcast that you can watch uh, over and over again um, if you'd like or just once. Uh, then the quiz, it will be a link to the quiz, uh, and then there will be a link to the discussions, and the discussion uh, will be, there will be uh, graded ones, usually one or two a week, again, um, and then there will just be the idea of uh, asking questions. When, when there are graded ones, there will be, you'll be required to make at least two postings. You will not see other people's postings until you post. Uh, you'll post and then you'll be able to see it I, you, and, and gauge your answer by answers from others. You're welcome to go back and edit your original if you like or to repo, you know, post again uh, given what you learn from other people's postings. I look and grade the postings as a whole, not any one individual. So as, as you go back and make corrections or changes to the posting process, this is a, supposed to be a dialogue uh, based on my feedback or feedback from others. Uh, and then there will always be a follow-up post as well that will be described in the description um, as to what you should do. And it, it will be specific and you'll need to watch what that follow-up posting is because often it will mean that you need to respond to someone else so you'll have to wait until they've posted and come back and respond to their postings correct your postings any of those and you'll have uh, the first post needs to be up by saturday uh, so that other people can have a you know chance to respond to it uh, and then you have till tuesday to, to make your follow-up post and then it locks. The, the discussion boards don't go away. You can still see what's there, but you can't continue to post past Tuesday. Uh, so at that point, then I will read them and assign a, a grade for that. Uh, they are worth 10 points each discussion board participation. So you, you can't get a full 10 points if you don't make your two postings, if you don't haven't followed the directions, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, and I use a rubric. You'll see that it's based on having the right uh, information as well as noting where your sources are or the right sources, uh, as well as being able to express yourself such that we can uh, easily understood and and someone else can respond to uh, and always keeping in mind uh, etiquette and being uh, very respectful in any time that you may disagree with the answer of someone else uh, when we're talking about a judgment situation. Then homework um, is a Dropbox and it's due on Saturday and this is how we deal with homework. You uh, if you click on the Dropbox, it'll tell you which um, problems are required for that chapter. And then you'll complete those and you'll up upload it in the Dropbox. And as soon as you've done that, you'll be able to see my video answers uh, or video of the answers or my explanation or at least my answers um, to those problems that you can then make corrections. So you need to have your original answers in uh, by Saturday and you have till Monday to make corrections based on my explanation 
Uh, and to get full credit, you need to uh, a either get them all right the first time, but if you made many mistakes, their corrections need to be made so that I can see that they're separate, a so different color, um, bolded, something like that, and such that, and they need to be explained so that you could look back at it and see what it was that uh, was the mistake and how you will not make that mistake going forward. And they become hopefully a really good way for you to study and prepare for the test and a resource for uh, subsequent uh, assignments. So those are the ways that we will do our grading for the most part. What we're going to have is seven weeks where we have that pattern. And then last week of this uh, semester, eight week eight will be our exam and preparing tax returns. We'll prepare four tax returns and we will take a uh, one comprehensive uh, exam. It will be take home. It will be uh, problems and essays. It will be next to no a multiple choice. It will not be the types of questions you'll see on the quizzes, which will be uh, short, true, false, or multiple choice questions. It will be um, involve multiple steps and problems that you'll have to think through the tax law and apply them to a scenario. Uh, you'll have that final eight, week eight to do all of those and get them turned in so that uh, for the grading. So there will be no midterm or in intermediate test. Uh, it will be only the final exam uh, in court class this summer. So that should get you started and help you um, to feel comfortable with the course and what is, is expected. And uh, so we look forward to working with you and hope that uh, if you have questions, you can ask them, especially if it's right on the course. Um, there is a discussion uh, board for questions just about the course in general, the syllabus, whatever. It, those That's the preference for questions about material from the class. If you have a more personal question about grade or other uh, difficulties you're running into uh, that don't apply to the class in general, please feel free to email me uh, at the email shown on the syllabus or e using the email tool here in um, Desire to Learn or Brightspace. Great to have you with us.